So I was, I was sharing about negative entities and someone said, um, I don't experience negative entities. Well, if, if you're not identified with thoughts and the body and you're in the infinite, there is no other. So there is no nothing you can be attacked at that level of consciousness. Um, there is no me and there is no you and there is no other. It doesn't exist. So if you don't, if you don't identify with uh, the limited self, thinking and the body, and you don't identify with anything, then essentially you're not a thing any longer. So you're not subject to the illusions of separation. So um, if you, for example, if you're not identified with the body and you're not, uh, you can't, you can't complain that someone stepped on my foot because you're not identified with it. The body is not you. Um, now, if you're not identified with thoughts, uh, you can't be tempted at the level of thought because you're not identifying with any thoughts. So, uh, but if you're identified, so at that level, at the level of non-form, there is no temptation, there is no other. Uh, at certain levels of non-form, there is no world, there is no this and that ceases to exist. So, uh, yes, um, someone at the level of enlightenment does not ex does not experience the illusion. They they are not subject to being in separation, and they don't experience um, the seeming uh, trials and tribulations of those who are identified with the physical body and thoughts, and actually believe that that is what they really are, which is a different level of consciousness. So someone might say, "I'm tormented by donuts." Uh, and I'm the body, and I'm my thinking. Uh, that would be their experience with the, in that level of the separation, the illusion, or the dream. Someone non-identified that has totally um, transcended identification with thoughts and body. You know, it's going to be a nonsense. Like there's another entity that's attacking my body and my thinking. Uh, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't exist at that altitude. At the level of non-form, there is no such thing as me and you an attack and this and that and aging and body things going on and money things going on it does not exist there um so um i sort of answer i mean it depends on where uh when i'm talking to uh, try to be helpful to people it depends where they're at i speak to them at the level they're at so if someone says i'm being tormented by donuts that's the level they're at um it's also useful to say like you're not your body and you're not your thoughts and you're not affected by donuts you're an infinite being, you're not subject to any of that rubbish. And that's one way of tackling it. Or one can give different methods or speak to someone as if they really are real, like the body and the thinking is a real thing. So, but yes, at different levels of consciousness, um, well, when identified with the body and thoughts, uh, the Course in Miracles would say one is in perception. So I have the perception that I'm actually a physical body in my thinking and that other people are physical bodies and they're thinking, and I'm in a world of separation. So that's the experience within perception because I still have an ego. Uh, with the death of the ego, when there is no ego, no thought identified with, and no body identified with, then the experience of separation is not experienced. One is in a, a field of non-duality or enlightenment. There is no this or that or me or you or um, attack or other otherness and at high levels there is no world even uh, and uh, the, it doesn't exist there so uh, there comes the and that's true i mean if if um, um if someone said to buddha mm -hmm. like uh, uh i feel you know i'm i'm worried about my fit, my body's going to die and uh, i'm just worried i'm in absolute fear um that wouldn't make uh, that, that wouldn't be a thing that would affect Buddha because Buddha is not a body. He's not identified with the body. He never was the body. He's not the thoughts. He's infinite, eternal. Um, so, it, it, such a thing wouldn't be his experience because he's in the truth, uh, and and the others but uh, are in illusion. So, um, yeah, it just depends what level one is as what what is the, I mean. Enlightenment is not not an experience, it's the absolute truth of existence. But when identified, there's various levels of ego illusion, um, which um, uh, which the experiencing then of someone who's identified within the illusion is very different to the experience, not the experience, to being in, in the truth. In the truth, there is no separation, there is no this and that. 
and there is no limitation by form. And at certain levels, there is no form even existing. 